Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skyline, the rebuilding, the recovery of Sipper T City with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much as well for all the love, all the suggestions, the likes you've been leaving on these episodes. I think it's really hit home with a lot of people and I mentioned that in my last video, particularly in the comments as well. As people were watching... Uh, the rebuilding of the city of course it reminds a lot of people of what's been going on recently in in all the places that have been hit by the hurricane so many different places and i don't think i mentioned i probably put this in the comments rather than in the video but as i was actually editing the video and going through and rebuilding things and seeing the, the little guys go out in their helicopters and recovery trucks and that sort of thing uh, searching the rubble of course on my mind was what's been going on um, in other places of the world so you know uh, thoughts and feelings out to all those people that are dealing with that sort of thing hopefully you can get back on your feet as soon as possible and there have been lots of lots of people uh, working hard at rescuing uh, people rebuilding houses all that sort of thing has been going on so here we are in sippity city and it's going okay look at look at this things have been growing well i've just spent what's the time 20 past 11 i've just spent probably an hour and a half going through rebuilding all the things I'm pretty sure we've got everything. So starting over here, I mean, we can still see there's rubble around, little, little bits here and there. So there's space for people to come back and move in if they so wish. But let's have a look. The different parts of our city is doing okay. Not too bad at all. So spring height. Oh, here we go. Look, this is something to watch out for. It's hard to see that little symbol under there. Look, this rebuild symbol. When you've got um, the... Uh, that your line is showing is not being completed somewhere so let's rebuild that if you see anywhere this is little tips for you if you're doing something like this if you're rebuilding and you see over the top of one of your stations it says there's it can't complete the line that is because at some place there will be a station that needs to be rebuilt so Yes, keep that in mind. So, yeah, the cargo station's working well. As you can see, there's lots of these collapsed places, which, uh, once they've been searched through... Uh, I don't know whether some of these actually are going to be... Yeah, see, there's lots of searches going on here. These should say... They just say collapse. So, whether people are actually going to move back into those or not, I'm not sure, because normally they'll have this blue symbol over the top, ready for rebuilding. Yeah, so they need to be need to be searched. So I'm not automatically deleting those, which some people said to put that on. Uh, so, no, not going to do that. So we've got our high tech, high tech research and science center. Science center is back. This area is not doing too bad at all. Our space elevator is back. 
Yeah, this side of the city is not too bad at all. As we head over into our main area, again, our mountainous districts are not doing too bad at all. Lots of areas ready for rebuilding, for people to move back in. We're up to 79,000 people and still loads of people moving in. Uh, let's just take a look at our main city. You may spot a few new buildings, of course, popping up as well because the exact same building won't be rebuilt in the same place twice. Here's our recycling centre, all back to work. So unless it was a monument or a park or something like that, like this area here, that's our cell, uh, servicing services centre with our big parkway. Our big road going down here and our park that we have round. Yeah, unless it's a, a monument or something particularly placed, then of course when they rebuild it will be different. We're going to see what this looks like at night as well. Our all, all processing services, yeah, sort of getting back to normal, still lots... That need to be built up so what this has probably done because our demand is basically zero most of the time <laughs> for everything but people have moved in uh, which which has been really nice to see traffic has been a problem let's find somewhere uh, oh obviously got a fire problem going on over here let's have a look oh yeah all of these are back now the water has gone these have all been rebuilt which is fantastic really nice to see uh the eden sensors back Oh, I love it when the sun goes down. Love it when the sun goes down. Here we go. A massive big football stadium. When is the next football match? Uh, the 18th of the 1st, 2067. So we've got like a year to go <laughs> before that. Our big police station's back. Oh, the sun is going down. Over Sipity City. We can see what it looks like at night, again, when all the lights come on. Uh, yeah, so you want to watch out. If there's anywhere, here we go, like here, really bad traffic. It's normally because uh, of these recovery vehicles. The helicopters are okay. They stop off the road. Um, but the... Let's have a look. What is stopping this lot from moving? Oh, it's going down here. I bet there's a... There we go. At the end of it, a recovery vehicle. They, they tend to stop the traffic. And not let anybody pass. Which is a bit odd. I mean, people could overtake there. But they don't wish to overtake. I don't know why. It's very weird. But you can hear the upgrading of buildings going on in the background. A little beep, beep. Yep. But yes, yeah, still lots of recovery going on. But look at this. We are back. We are back. This is, this is excellent. I'm really pleased that this has gone so well. I'm really pleased. But the city is still recovering. And what I would like to do in this episode, as was suggested by quite a few people in the comments. Ah, oh, look. Oh, autosave. Jiggery Pokery Hub is back and working, which is nice. Have all the lines working? Yep, all the lines are working on the Jiggery Pokery Hub. Fantastic. And this is our main starting area. Where are we over here? This is the British Island. Almost back to normal. Almost. Our prison. I had to manually go through every single piece of wall <laughs> and rebuild them. But our prison is back. How many criminals do we have in Eternity Prison? Let's take a look. Uh, 51. So, most of them are out and about and helping with the rebuilding of the city. They're reformed prisoners. They want to help Sipity City get back to normal as well. So, yeah, we want to put a monument up to mark the passing of those citizens that are no longer with us. To mark the heroism of those that have gone out and done the rescuing work. Here we go. Look, this is our nuclear power plant. Lots more big industrial buildings are popping up. Uh, commercial and office buildings popping up around here. But things are looking absolutely fantastic. And I picked out... Oh, I didn't realise our train roundabout had cool lights on it. Of course, yes, we put some of those on, didn't we? Although I seem to have missed that side. Eh, never mind. There we go. Airport's working well. I picked out a cool area where we're going to build a nice-looking monument. What is this over here? Oh, that's our Hadron Collider, of course. And our other football stadium. Is that, have they got a match coming in anytime sooner? 18th for the first. No, that's linked to the other one. Cool. So, the area we're going to build in is over here. This spot here, because... So, what we're going to do, we're going to turn off the night time so we can see what we're doing. There we go, and we're back. So, we want an area that's easy to get to, that's nice and big, that overlooks the city. People can come here, and they can stand perhaps up on these ruins over here. We've got these ruins at the top here that are already built into the map. And they can look over the city 
and remember the disaster that befell Sipati City. Also, we want to give it good transport links as well. Well, we've got our little mini airport that's down here. Uh, we also have this road, or this junction, that comes off this main highway, which is connected to the rest of the city. Uh, the road comes off here, goes to this roundabout, it sort of goes through here, and then stops there. Well, we could continue that underneath the highway, out into this area. Um, and... Is there a train? Yeah, there's a train station here as well. We could even add a little monorail station. Backwards and forwards to over here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to show you the parts that we're going to put in here just yet. So let's just put in the infrastructure that we need. Uh, and then we'll get to that. What sort of road is that? Uh, six lane road with decorative trees. Okay, that's good. Do you know what? I'm going to use this a bit more here. Six lane. Oh, does this not show roads? <laughs> let's type in road. I don't think it does, does it? Oh, that would have been handy if it did. Oh, well, never mind. Let's let's do it this way. It's going to start building up this little area that I mentioned over here. And I realise we still had the government funding setting turned on, which I've changed. I've turned that off. Um, so we're no longer relying on government funds. They were... Uh, very uh, very helpful in rebuilding our city. Thank you very much for that. We have 6,800. We are actually making money ourselves now and growing. Um, I've just gone through my policies. Um, I've raised the taxes on everything. And you know, that's interesting because uh, our taxes at the moment are at 12%. This tax raise policy raises it by 2% on each thing so offices high low density commercial and residential nobody is complaining about the tax rates which is weird because if i put my actual tax rate up to 14 they wouldn't like it um but using that policy they don't seem to mind so that has given me a nice healthy boost in money um and also let's see what else have i changed go back to policies again so I've taken off the tax relief. I've put on the tax raise. Um, I've taken off air, free public transport, even though traffic is a problem. Oh, look, they're starting to complain. They are just starting to complain a little bit. Okay, well, we need the money, folks. We need the money, so don't complain. Um, yeah, even though traffic is bad, I don't want to have free public transport. We need to make some money. And I put these two on, even though it gives us an upkeep. Mm, double their sales. I think normally the doubling of the sales makes up with the fact that it's going to cost us money. So I'm going to leave that leave that as it is. And hopefully we're making plus 623. Hopefully we're, as things sort of even out, we'll make some money. And we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's expand this road over here um, as we were going to do. I also have just finally managed to balance the budget um, by, let's show you, something I've forgotten about that we were spending a lot of money on is these things here. 1,500 a week, 27,000 a week. So I've turned those off and there was also one other one as well that had something like that turned on. What was it? Oh, it was the concert over here. Here we go. That had 9,000 a week and 3,000 a week turned on, which obviously we're not very bothered about that at the moment. Uh, security budget, let's just put that down to 500. Not really worried about that. How much is that costing us? 400 a week. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, yes, that will kick back in again. But we actually did start to make some money there for a moment. So I'm going to leave those turned off for now. Right, let us finally build this road across here. What we're going to do is delete that bit from there. Uh, and this is, I forgot what it was, six lane road with decorative trees, that was it, so there we go, six lane road, decorative trees, let's see if we could just take that right across there, how about to there instead, yeah that looks good, and then we'll get that swing under here and end up across the back here, I think that would be a good idea. And sort of swing around, let's say, to there. And then where do we want to head to? We want sort of like a car park. Where do we actually want the park? That's the question. I'm thinking we want the park in this sort of area. At the foot of this mountain here would work out quite well, I think. And then that will sort of fit in with what we've got going on here too. 
So maybe let's have a quick look at the parts that we're going to use for this. So uh, let's get rid of that bridge thing. So we are going to use... Now, if I can remember the darn names. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. We have a spiral column. We have the spiral globe. So let's have a look. The spiral column. There we go. The spiral globe. Looks nice, I think. Uh, this one's called a spiral totem. And then we also have this square chain monument. There we go. So, as with art, it's always in the eye of the beholder. There's a dog disappearing across there. It's an elk or something. A deer. And I thought this, this looked to me like scaffolding. You know when a house or a building builds or um, upgrades itself? You get that sort of effect, don't you? And I thought they really reminded me of that. These two, anyway. That one and that one. And then I've put these in as well because they will add some nice variety to the park. But this is going to be a park that's going to remind the people of Sippity City what has happened. And also to help them to think about the rebuilding work that's gone on as well.
So there we go. That is our memorial park that we have. We have some parking here. I've removed the roads around the outside. They were just uh, extremely unnecessary. But I like the way this has worked out with the cypress trees and with these three monuments. I think they go together really, really well. And people can come up here. There's some benches I've tucked away over here in the corners of each side. And also, if they want to come and eat, they can come and eat here as well. And I like the detail in this one with the flowers and the trees and the grass and the rocks. I think it's finished off really, really well. I do like this. So hopefully people will start visiting here at some point and you get a good view of the city. If you follow the path, there we go, follow one of these two paths. You've got the hard route, which goes slightly more uphill, or you've got the easy route up and over. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. That tree, of course. There we go. Excellent. Whoops, let's turn that off. Point. There we go. Slightly harder route round this way. There we go. And then you can stop at the top and you can overlook the monument and overlook the city. And remember, remember the hard work of all the people that went into rebuilding Sipper Tea City. So as you've probably noticed, our population has dropped from whatever we'd got up to 90,000 down to 51,000. Yeah, balancing the tax rates and things like that is becoming rather difficult. One, one thing I did turn on, if this will open up, there we go, thank you very much. Uh, did I turn this on? Let's have a look. Oh, no rebuild. I'd put the fast recovery on. Uh, does not search anymore for survivors, but only makes the lot ready for rebuilding. So now we're only relying on people moving in um, rather than people being found in the rubble, which is handy. We could do no rebuilding, and that would literally be it. And anything else uh, that we have would just be destroyed. Uh, we could automatically bulldoze that. Can I turn this thing back on? A fire watchtower. There we go. They keep popping up from time to time. Traffic is still... Let's have a look again traffic is still pretty i mean it's moving it's moving this is busy down here that's going to be a recovery vehicle isn't it yep holding everybody up but hopefully once he's done that oh hang on that needs to stop being emptied yeah that's the one thing so we may we may turn off recovery and say enough is enough all the recovery has been done Oh, there we go. The FPS have come back. Let's have a look at this side of the city. Yeah, this is always a spot along here. What's happening there? Oh, that doesn't need to be emptied anymore. There we go. That's going to help. Stop emptying, please. Thank you. That is just a ton of buses. <laughs> that is just like an absolute ton of buses. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, okay, we need to go through all of our transportation things and see what we can do about that. Let's just have a look at which line this is. The purple line, line overview. Let's have a look. No, line details. So we do have... Oh, I don't know. Zero, zero. Not many people waiting. Uh, I put on free public transportation again. Did I? I should double check I've done that. Educate. No, I haven't. Because I needed to make the money. Oh, there's so many people moving in now. Yeah, balancing the money is going to be a difficult thing. It really is. I've got taxes at 12%, 13% for businesses and stuff. I think we just need to sort of take it as it comes. I am going to have to go through and check. Let's carry on looking at this. Yeah, this is always, this roundabout down here is always one. Look, there he is. You can see that recovery vehicle there. So if I, for instance, put no recovery, let's see what happens. Let's see if he suddenly goes. No rebuilding. Oh. Is he going to go? Is he going to move on? <laughs> he shouldn't be there. He shouldn't be searching for survivors. And he shouldn't be rebuilding. Maybe once he's finished, he'll be done. Yeah, this is always a hot spot of traffic. And that is because of these guys. Maybe once he's done that one, he'll be finished. Um, let's have a look over here. No, that's just busy. This roundabout backing up a bit. Oh, man, what is stopping these guys going in and out? 
Oh my goodness me. Okay, let's have a look. They're coming in. All of these have stopped. Look. Oh, is that a... No, that's a car. What? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, look what it is. Another disaster recovery vehicle. Oh, he's... Yeah. I. Th oh, that's it. They decided to run him over. <laughs> they need to stop. Look. Even though I've got this on, they're still doing it. Fast recovery, no rebuilding. Forbid rebuilding on lots. Yeah. Does not search for survivors, only makes the lot ready for rebuilding. Oh, okay. Do you know what we need to do to stop this? I think the time has come. Demolish burned, demolish abandoned, and also we need to turn off our rescue services. They're costing us 640 a week. The time has come to say thank you very much for your services to Sippity City. But, yep, yeah, we need to turn you all off. We need to stop your vehicles going out. Thank you very much. There we go. They've all been turned off. We do recognise the hard work that our recovery people have done in restoring Sippity City. So you guys and girls need to give me some suggestions in the comments below for our new park area memor memorial centre that we've put in here. Let us know in the comments below what you think this should be called. Um, also... There was a few comments about renaming our city, and I think that is a fantastic idea. It's no longer Sippity City. It is now New Sippity City, because it has been rebuilt from the ground up. So I'm hoping now that the city will recover, that it will be able to balance the budget and get people moving in. And then we need to work on increasing the mass transit infrastructure that we've got around the place. Do you know what? I don't like these red buildings at all. They're going. I need to remove those ones. The architect needs to be fired. He's bringing those into our city. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button. That is greatly appreciated. Hit the big B with a tea stain as well to subscribe. And be back very soon for the next episode of Rebuilding Sipper City. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.